Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driving Hunt, the Driving It Home podcast. I know the name of my podcast. It's all good. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Jesus healing a lame man at the Pool of Bethsaida, another one of Jesus's miracles. I'm excited you're here. This is Johnny Trokey. This is the Driving It Home podcast. Let's go. You guys, it's always fun when we get to start off an episode with a blooper, but uh, we're just going to keep on rolling with it. No second takes. That's my rule. Um, Today, we're talking about Jesus healing the lame man at the pool of Bethsaida, and this was the third installment of Chris's seven-part series that he's in the middle of, talking about the miracles of Jesus, specifically from the Gospel of John. And so in John chapter 5, we have this story where there's this uh, pool that was called the pool of Bethsaida. And what people would do is they would go to this pool because they believed it had healing powers. And it was a superstition. And Chris, you know, talked about that in his lesson. But Jesus sees a man laying beside the pool, a lame man, a guy who's been an invalid for 38 years. That's a long time. And this guy had been sitting by this pool for a very long time, waiting to go in. But every time he would get up or try to get up, try to get into the water, somebody else would basically push him out of the way and get in there first. And people were blocking him out. And he was there for a long time and he needed help. And Jesus helped him in a way that he he could never have imagined. It's, re- it's a really beautiful story. Jesus asks a question of this man that is so powerful and beautiful and helpful for us in our lives. Tell me if you've ever been in in this situation where you, like Jesus, you see somebody who is in need of help. Like it's blatantly obvious they need help. They have a problem. And you know that you can help them with the problem. Like I could help with that. And you're even more than just knowing you could help, you actually have a desire to help. Okay, so that's the scenario. You've ever been in that situation. You see somebody who needs help. You know you could help and you'd like to help. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking, I don't want to be intrusive. I don't want to assume that this person wants help or wants my help. So I don't want to be invasive by just assuming and, you know, going in there and starting to help. It's kind of like giving unsolicited advice. It's like you should be a little wary of giving unsolicited advice. When's the right time to give somebody advice? When they ask for it. That's the only time to give, to give somebody advice. Every other time is a little squirrely. But in this situation, you see somebody who needs help, but they haven't asked you for help. So how do you offer your assistance without assuming. How do you do that? Because you also don't want to do the passive thing that so many people do. And I'm guilty of this and you're guilty of this. Everybody is where they see somebody in need and they're talking to that person and they end the conversation like this. They say, let me know if you need anything. And you know, when you say that, you know, they are never going to call you. They are never going to reach out. The likelihood is super low And that might have, like, you knowing that might have been exactly why you said that. Because you can look back on the conversation and say, well, I offered my help when you know that really they were never going to take you up on it. But say that you have a lucid moment and you really do have a desire to help. How do you invite yourself into their lives without overstepping? Jesus gives us the perfect example here. When Jesus walks up to this man, this lame man, can't walk laying beside the pool, hoping to be healed. Jesus asked him this question. Do you want to be healed? That's it. That's all Jesus says to him before he heals him. Do you want to be healed? What is Jesus asking when he asks that question? What he's really asking is, would you like some help with that? That's the question. That's what Jesus is asking the man. Would you like some help with that? Jesus knows that he could help. The other man doesn't know how to ask for help. 
And so Jesus sets him up perfectly to ask for help. Would you like some help with that? And the lame man answered and said, sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. So what he's asking Jesus is, could you help me get to the pool? And that's when Jesus says, you know what? Just get up. Just get up, take your bed and walk away. That's how I can help you. And so obviously we can't just say that to people who are paralyzed. You know, I'm not advocating, hey, go to the hospital, find somebody who's paralyzed and say, hey, would you like to be healed? And then just tell them to try, try getting up. That would be, that'd be not good. But what we can learn from Jesus in this moment is how do you offer your help to somebody with the right way? How do you offer your help to somebody without being invasive, without being intrusive, without overstepping, but also without being passive? Here's a great tip for you. Ask, when you're talking to somebody who needs help, instead of saying, hey, let me know if you need any anything, say this, would you like some help with that? And then just be quiet and let them answer you, and the truth will come out. If they really do want some help, they'll let you know. If they really don't want your help, then they'll let you know. And then you don't have to feel bad for not helping. Because they'll say, no, I, th- I think I need to handle this myself. Or no, I have you know, my sister coming into town and they're going to help. Whatever it is, you could just ask a simple question. Would you like some help with that? So that's the episode for today, you guys. I hope that is a practical takeaway for you. Something you can implement in your life today or the next time you're talking to somebody who needs help. Would you like some help with that? Brainstorm with your family. Is there anybody that, we're, that we know of that, that we could help? Because we need to be aware of those opportunities. Jesus, when he walked by the pool, he was obviously looking for somebody who needed help. And that's another takeaway for us, too. There's a little bonus takeaway here at the end here. But you guys, thanks so much for tuning into this week's episode. We will see you next time here on the Driving It Home podcast.